my motivation for this entire thing really is Aviation 777. Because he built his own airport. So he, like, really helped me, guide me through this website to get the stocks from. The everything, how to put them down, what to do. Because the old airport, it was cool. But I hated how the main tactic was also for the planes to push back onto everything. To push back on, and you had a taxi, then you got you got planes taking off, landing, and pushing back on the same taxiway. And that was really annoying. So I really just want to thank him for helping me make this. <laughs>
so you can see everything over here from this sort of angle. But yeah, you can see the one way. It's kind of crooked. I did my best to keep it straight. It, I did my best to kind of let me keep, look, make it look straight enough. You should have seen it before. It was just absolutely horrible. It was, I mean, it, it's still the same amount of crooked. I just did some, took a lot of extra work to make it look the way that it does currently. This one is straight-ish. I kind of messed up down there. I, uh, I turned it to the side. Meanwhile, I could just cut it straight. So it's a little cool. You got some extra glue spots from when I painted it over and glued it over. You know, right there. This one way is straight. This is our longest runway right here. Um, and as you can see, we got that extra thing uh, for the heavier aircraft down there. Here we have the international terminal. We have Charlie, Delta, and Echo. This is where I'm keeping all the vehicles for right now. Yeah, I kind of did mess up here on accident. I didn't. There, you can see the lines where I try to keep it straight. It didn't work, but it still works. Also, a little bit extra work to make it look the way it does. Um, here's the entire thing from right here, and in doing this, of course, I had to. You can see all the Gemini jets just sitting right there. We had to have extra places for them. So I had to use this unbox. Like every time I did an unboxing video, while this was in creation, I had to move all of these all over on here. And then we got three of these, and then I just completely ran out of space. So I just put them on here. And right now they're on the floor. Yeah, there's some more right there. Earth's on the floor. So yeah, since August 1st, I'm gonna. Oh yeah, we had to move the Gemini hats boxes over to over here instead of under the table. I don't really like them under the table anyway. This is easier but harder, but it also looks better, I feel. Right there. Yeah, unfortunately the overhead light doesn't work. Uh once I try to fix it. Yeah, it doesn't work. Okay. There's something in the hangar I took all the aircraft out for this. This took all together one and a half bottle gallons of glue. Uh, it looks like it took it looks like it took a lot, but like it doesn't it didn't take as much paint and glue as you would expect it to. I mean, it took uh, really one half a, a bag and a half for the grass. It didn't even have an entire extra bag of. Yeah, you can see as we come over here, we got some extra Gemini jets. I'm gonna up it immediately after this. I'm going to time lapse that. Just some extra stuff, you know. Just some all overall extra stuff. Okay, over here. Uh, I did this last night. I thought it looked a little. It was just gray right here. I was like, okay, does this look a little. Need some, you know, color to make it cooler. So I painted it, put some grass here, painted this black, and add kind of a street under there. As you can see. Alright, this is Tango. This is Tango where you'll, in, this is where the passengers will enter the airport, go through security. And then if you are just right here, you can, you know, just sit, I guess, and wait for your aircraft. All right, so we have United, United, American, American, and this is for either one. So we have the triple sevens and seven six sevens and seven eight seven. So whatever one's in, we'll just put right there. So this is both American and United. Okay, right here is Alpha. And... So I guess we don't really have any alpha. I guess we don't really have. I guess yeah, cause of course Southwest and Frontier and all that don't really have, you know, seven, eight, seven. So I can just put Delta, triple seven, and whatever I have left over here. But this is where Spirit, Frontier, JetBlue, etc. will be, and then we have a Bravo, 
Delta, Delta, this is Bravo was all Delta. And I guess this is this is not all Delta, but Delta can park right there. At the air traffic control tower right there. And Charlie, this is Charlie, this is also Delta. Charlie is also all Delta. And then Delta or as Hartsoot calls it out there, Dixie. Dixie and Echo are just all international. So over here will be planes like Thomas Cook right here. And over here will just be any international aircraft except for Delta. Because Delta already has this right here. Also, I can leave international right there. Also, it's parking right here. So, like, Air France would park right here. And I haven't yet figured that out. But could you see it over there? Let's say Air France was going to Los Angeles. You might see it over there. You can also see it here. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah. Of course, it's not actually here because you can see right here it's not actually here but train from here to here you can get off here and then you can take the train all the way here and then you can take the train to here and it stops and you gotta take the overhead train unless you just want to walk it so mm -hmm. just put the overhead train in use I think that's about it aside from us being under construction oh yeah just don't worry about it no. <laughs> I'm gonna get to updating as soon as I did this, but I just wanted to say, uh, what, what's 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 today? What, what's today's date here? It's January 2021, right? Okay, so, and today I think I don't know the date. It's Saturday, so is it the 16th? Yes, yeah, the 16th. All right, so it's Saturday the 16th. Uh, currently, it's a little cold outside. It's a little chilly. You know what? It's right here. It's, it's right here. It's, it's the 16th. Okay, so it's the 16th, and I've been working on this since August 1st. So six months and 16 days I've been at this. And in the beginning, the clip I just did, I'm going to make two of those, and I'm going to put the... I'm going to try to put... The materials it took. Should I do that? I don't know. I don't really know. It took. I know it took f six bottles of gray paint right there. It took six bottles of that. Um, it didn't even take a full bottle of green paint and not barely any of the white and gray paint here. Markers. I put the. I had those in a bag. There were a lot of markers that were paint markers. That were used here as you can see I don't think any really did run out did any of my paint markers really run out I got new ones because because I some of them I couldn't really work or some of them didn't work at all so I got new ones uh, but yeah really just two gallons of glue Th that took a while and it's just time lapse time lapse since August I just wish that time lapse me ripping up the old airport because I glued to the tables, the old airport of the tables. So I just cut off, cut it off, and painted the tables and did this. I wonder the different colors it would be if this was like a mat. After the all of it up, you just see green and stuff, <laughs> all different colors. Because there's green right there, there are green patches, there are black patches, there are gray, mostly gray. Let's say it's seventy-five percent gray. But yeah, it's been fun. This is uh, coming to an end. But you know what? Because I feel like this is a perfect place to start this. Because you know, January 2021. New update. You know, this is fresh update to the year. 2021 monthly updates are back. And you know, I'm going to try to do it despite uh, this airport's capacity is probably... It's double what it was before. So if I write on them this weekend, because it's a three-day weekend... MLK Martin Luther King's birthday and I can just get on that you know have the print it out and have it done so I, I can have my table back <laughs> so I'm just glad to you know get the aircraft off the shelves and most importantly off the floor they weren't really on the floor they've been on the floor for like 30 minutes now I'm about to put them back up here but I'm gonna time off me updating it it's about to be 10 minutes review here but I'm gonna tell us me me updating it 
again, we're still a little bit under construction. But, uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you for watching. I know it hasn't been that long for you, but it's been since August 1st for me. So, I will see y'all next video. The next, there is a plane that we do, I have ordered on the way. I'm actually, the Louisiana one got here early. So, I'm hoping this next aircraft that I got gets here early also. And I can do an unboxing of that. And it won't be in the airport. It might be on the shelf. If it comes today, of course, it'll be on the air airport. But I'm just going to set up and put it all down finally. This is the last look I'm really going to look at. It empty. There are no aircraft here right now. It's about to fill up. And so, yeah. Also, link in the description for the last time. I did one of these big projects where I moved my crappy Daron Airport, cleaned the room out, and put the Gemini at the airport up. So, what should I tell us? Out with the old and in with the new part two? Or Mega. I don't know what I'm going to title this. Air, mega Airport Transformation. I could do a part two. I could, yeah, I guess so. I don't know what I'm going to title this. We'll, we'll figure it out. All right. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, let's update the airport. Uh, at the update air, at the airport, it's update. I'm just going to cue the timeline because I really don't want y'all to see too much before the actual airport's update because you know I do a review over the entire thing on how it looks before I really get to it. But, uh, yeah, I will. Oh, one more thing. Some of the taxiway is printed. Some of it is handmade. This is all handmade right here. And that's printed. Printed, printed. Okay, we have a printed area right there. And the rest is just handmade. Because, okay, so. Let me just get one of my 757s out here. Which one? I'm going to get this one. Sorry about the low light. Alright. So. The taxiway width is about that of a 757. This is a little big, but it really is the width. The wing, the taxiway width is the size of a 757 wingspan. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, one more thing before I forget. Let me just put you down there. One more thing before I forget. It is, I made it smooth. It's, like, really, really smooth here. Don't worry about this. That's just the place that the glue, the, uh... Those are just extra glue places in the paint didn't exactly cover that. But it's like really smooth. So basically what I did was I got Elmer's glue. This is how it really all is, Elmer's glue. I don't know if y'all remember, but if you go back, of course you remember, it's just probably like 10 minutes ago. I don't really know how long the time of this video is. But all of that over there just used to be green. And I was really mad that it was just all green. I was like, is this is how it's gonna be. Is I'm just gonna have green stalks here. I'd say about, and it just kept getting more and more green, so green. And I was really mad about that. I was actually considering ripping them up and drawing them by hand, which like really messed me up because I was like, I just and it's already going wrong. So I just left them there. I'd say about maybe finally a month. I'd say, no, by the way, like a week later, the green, I started to see less and less green on there. And so, probably over the course of maybe two months, it went back to its original color. These still have some specks of greens on here, which should clear up over time. It didn't really do what, uh, yeah, it didn't really do what it did here, over there. But, what I did was... Basically, I just glued it down. I glued the paper down, and to make it smoother, I put Elmer's glue everywhere. And then after that dries, you just left with this really, really smooth place. Over there is the smoothest place because I put that's like there are like four coats over there, dude. Because I kept doing work over there, so like four coats of Elmer's glue type area right there, like really, really smooth. But yeah, it's like really smooth. Uh, the side of the table is rough. A little bit but this is like really smooth here and how I put the tables together as you can see I taped it so what I did was I taped it and I put glue over it that I put paper over it 
then I painted it, then I glued it over again. And that's how it all stays connected. Like, you really don't even notice where the table ends and another table begins. But that's just about it. Let's go to... The sun's coming out. Let's go to the updation. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. And stay still. Of course, don't tune off, but stay tuned for the time lapse here. About to start in three, two. You guys have got to see my airport. It's like not even at capacity yet. There are 84 planes here. And capacity is 100. One motherfucking 100. And then we gotta add the charters too. So yeah.